In this video, we want to look at how to name complex ions, that is cations and anions. Complex cations and anions. Remember we said complex ions consist of two or more elements. Okay, that's what made it complex. All right. Okay, so what will you do if you've been asked to name a complex ion such as this? What will you do? Now, the first thing you have to do is to find the oxidation number of the central atom. So, in this particular one, the central atom is a copper. So, copper is a central atom. And then, the water here is known as what? Ligand. Okay? So, copper, central atom. And then, water is the ligand. Okay? So first one, oxidation number of central atom. So that's what we have to do, okay? Now, in this particular one, what is oxidation number of copper? Copper here, we do not know, so we say copper. Then the next thing to look out for is whether your ligand is a charged ligand or a neutral ligand. Now, in our previous video, we talked about charged ligand and neutral ligand, and water is a neutral ligand and so has a charge of zero. So we have four molecules of water, each of which is zero, and the total charge of the complex is what? Plus two, okay? So copper, we'll say, has an oxidation state of plus two. It is very important to know the oxidation state of the complex of the complex or the central atom of the complex. Okay. All right. So what do you do next? The next thing you do is to name the ligands. Okay. So you always name the ligands first before, before the central atom. So number two. Name the ligands. So we name the ligands first before the central atom. Now we said when we have water as a ligand, we call it aqua. So H2O is aqua. And then we said if you have if you have others like C N minus, we call it cyano. NH3 is amine. If you have um, Cl minus, it's called chloro. So we talked about this in the previous video. So you can check the link, tap the link in the description and watch that video. All right. So you name the ligand, and if you have two or more ligands, we use the Greek prefixes. We use di for two, tri for three. Tetra for four, Penta for five, and so on. We use Ine, Ine for nine. We use Deca for ten, and Deca for eleven, and so on. So you name the ligands using these criteria. Okay. So in this particular example. In this particular example, since we have four molecules of water, it's going to be a tetra. It's going to be tetra, okay? So after you name the ligand, you will now move on to name the complex or the central atom of the complex. But then if you have two or more ligands, what you have to do is to name the ligands, you name the charged ligands first before the neutral ligands, okay? All right, so in this particular one, it's going to be what? It's going to be tetra aqua because we have four, four water molecules there. So it's going to be tetra aqua. And after that, we name the complex, the central atom of the complex. Okay, and so the central atom is copper. So we'll say copper 
So copper, and this is where the oxidation number comes in. You put the oxidation number in parenthesis, copper 2, okay? And then you indicate that it is an ion. So this one is written as one word, and then we bring in the ion, okay? So let's look at another example. Let's look at Cr and it's three for H two O two and let's say the whole complex has a charge of plus three. Yeah, the charge of plus three or three plus. So what do you do first? Again, find the oxidation states of the central atom. And the central atom there is what chromium. Okay. So what is the oxidation state of chromium? We'll try to do that. Now, ammonia is a neutral ligand, and so it will have a charge of zero. And then water is also a neutral ligand. We have two moles of water there. And then it is neutral, so a charge of zero. And the total charge on the atom is at three plus, okay? All right, so if you multiply, four by zero is zero, this is zero, so we say that chromium has a as an oxidation state of plus three, okay? So we'll have to put that in naming it. So what, what do you think the name will be? Now we have two neutral ligands, and so we have to name them in that order. Now, sometimes it's required to name them in alphabetical order, but it is not a rigid rule, okay? So this particular one is going to be at we have amine 4, so it's going to be tetraamine. And we have two of water molecules, and so it's going to be diaqua. Diaqua. And now we bring in our central atom, which is chromium. So and then we bring in the oxidation. The oxidation about is three. So in Roman numerals, one, two, three, okay, in parentheses, and then we bring in iron. All right. So you can pause the video and try this one. So you can try this um, nickel, and then we have H2O. Then we have C N C N three with a dead charge of minus one. So you observe that this complex this complex is an anion. Now the only thing about anion is that we use we use A T E a T E to end the name, but the process is still the same. So let's look at how we can name this particular one. We said we named the ligands first, but first we have to know the oxidation state of nickel, which is the central atom. Okay, so we have nickel, and then three of water, each of which is zero, and then we have three of cyano which has a charge of minus one, minus one. And then the total charge on the complex is at minus one. So we have nickel plus zero plus minus three equals minus one. So when we take the minus three to the right side, we're going to have nickel to be equal to minus one plus three. And so we have nickel to be plus two. So that's the oxidation state of nickel. Okay. Now let's clean this part. And, all right. So now that we know the oxidation state, what is going to be the name? So again, we name our ligands first. Remember this that we have a charged ligand which is cyano. So we name it first. So we have three of them. So we say try cyano. And then we we'll move on to the the neutral one. We have tri aqua. 
we have tri aqua and then we now name the central aqua which is nickel and because it is it has a net charge of it is an anion we call it nickelate nickelate okay so we have nickelate 2 nickelate 2 ion and we said remember these first parts are all one word and then we bring in the ion all right so maybe you should try one more what about copper cl4 2 minus all right so what we have to do is to find oxidation state of copper so we have copper chloride has a charge it is not a neutral ligand it is a charged ligand so the charge on chloride is what minus one and we have four of them and so four minus one equals two minus okay so copper minus four equals minus two so copper is going to be minus two plus four so copper is plus two okay so what is going to be the name we have four of chloride so we'll call it what tetra chloro tetra chloro and this time we'll call it coproate and then the oxidation number which is how many it is two so we'll say that cooperate two and then we we'll bring in the ion so that is how we name the complexes of anions and maybe you can try one more So try to name this. We have vanadium, VO2, and then we have F2 into bracket H2O. And this whole thing has minus one on top. So what do you do? The central atom there is what the transition metal vanadium. So vanadium here the central atom so we need to have the oxidation number of vanadium so we have v plus two oxygen here is oxo and has an oxidation state of minus two and then fluoride we have two each of them has a charge of minus one and then water we have two water and it is neutral so zero everything equals minus one okay so v minus four minus two this is zero and so everything is equal to minus one so say so that v will be equal to plus five if you if you send this to the right side so what is going to be the name we have two oxygen so we'll say di oxo and then we have fluoride too so we'll say difluoro and then we have remember these two are charged ligands and always remember to name the charged ligands first okay so we have dioxo difluoro and then the neutral ligand which is water so that is diaqua and the next thing to name is the central atom which is vanadium so we now have vanadate because it is what's an anion the complex is an anion so vanadate and then the charge of the oxidation state of vanadium which is five vanadate five and then we bring the ion all right so this is how to name this you can try more and get familiar with naming the cations and the anions remember to like this video and also to subscribe